thinking happy thoughts literally creates a positive chemical change in the brain which stimulates both physical and psychological benefits hello everyone this is arpita tripathi welcoming you all to my channel and your very own learning platform the world of chemistry today in this module we'll gain information about the conditions necessary for chemical reactions so keep watching my videos and like and subscribe my channel to never miss an update as we already know that atoms rearrange themselves to create one or more new compounds some chemical reactions takes place on their own but there are certain reactions for which few necessary conditions are essential to take place and the conditions are as follows first is close contact second presence of solution third heat energy fourth light energy fifth electricity sixth pressure and seventh catalyst so let's elaborate each condition and see few examples first is close contact there are certain chemical reactions which take place when reactants are in direct contact sodium when it reacts with cold water sodium hydroxide forms with liberation of hydrogen gas in this experiment we can see when sodium metal is placed in cold water it reacts vigorously energetically and see what happens we can see the experiment again in slow motion second is presence of solution some chemical reactions takes place only when the reactants are mixed in solution form when sodium sulfate and barium chloride are mixed a white ppt of barium sulfate is formed along with sodium chloride here in this experiment we can see aqueous solution of sodium sulfate and barium chloride is taken and mixed a white precipitate of barium sulfate is formed third is heat energy some chemical reactions don't react until an additional heat is provided when calcium carbonate is heated it gives calcium oxide with liberation of carbon dioxide gas here in this experiment we can see when calcium carbonate is heated in the first test tube some bubbles are coming out in the second test tube which shows the liberation of carbon dioxide gas the fifth is light energy some chemical reactions takes place in presence of light such reactions are called photochemical reactions example photosynthesis it is a chemical reaction which takes place in presence of light what happens when silver chloride comes in contact with light let's see it in this experiment first will mix dilute solutions of silver nitrate and sodium chloride we can see an insoluble precipitate of silver chloride forms then we'll filter the mixture using the filter paper and a funnel the precipitate is again washed with distilled water then the filter paper is taken out of the funnel and spread out the ppt
after that an object is placed on the filter paper to cover a part of the substance light is passed through the precipitate after few minutes will remove the object the area where the object was placed has not changed the color whereas the surface exposed to light has darkened visibly next condition is electricity some chemical reactions occur when electricity is passed through it such reactions are electrochemical reaction let's see how actually electrolysis of water is done if electricity is used for decomposing a substance it is called electrolysis when electricity is passed through acidic water it decomposes into oxygen and hydrogen gases as water is a bad conductor of electricity a little salt is added to water for easy conduction of electricity then a little quantity of acid is dissolved in water and the solution is poured in the apparatus as shown two test tubes are filled with the solution with no air bubbles in it then the test tubes are inverted over the iron nails these iron nails are electrodes and are connected to the positive and negative terminal of the battery we can see gases are produced in the test tubes after 30 minutes we'll see the volume of gases formed in each test tubes are the volume of gases same answer is no then introduce a glowing splinter in the test tube where the less amount of gas is formed the splinter burns brilliantly so we can see this gas is oxygen then in the another test tube also a glowing splinter is to be introduced where more volume of gas is produced the splinter is put out with a pop sound so we can say the gas present is hydrogen this process of sending an electricity in water and decomposing them is called electrolysis the next condition is pressure some chemical reactions occur when reactants are subjected to high pressure when nitrogen reacts with hydrogen under high pressure ammonia gas is formed and the last condition is catalyst some reactions take place in presence of catalyst these are the chemical substance which alters the rate of chemical reaction they can be positive or negative the positive catalyst are the chemical substances which increases the rate of reaction for example manganese dioxide vanadium pentoxide platinum etc and the negative catalyst are the chemical substances which decreases the rate of chemical reaction example alcohol phosphoric acid etc hope this module will help to get some information about the conditions necessary for the chemical reactions to take place thanks for watching and have a great day ahead